Sage Wanderer here. How's it going? I thought I would give you guys an update on the Homestead Project. Now, I have been busy, busy, busy. Well, first of all, there was the five full days of moving my sister. I think I only participated in three of the five days. <laughs> Just the big stuff. I helped her get the big stuff in the U-Haul. I moved the piano. Well, both, both pianos. Why do you need two pianos? <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, so I've been really busy doing that. I've been working on the old homestead. I got a dog. You might have seen the uh, pictures. I'm gonna do some videos on him as well. And he's a handful. He's 75 pounds. I don't know, he's some kind of boxer crossed with something big like maybe a, a Dane or a, oh, what do you call him, a St. Bernard maybe. He kind of has a St. Bernard snoot. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. Uh, I, I put some pictures up when I did a posting, but Anyway, um, yeah, I just got out of the shower at the state park. Went to the state park, got a shower. <laughs> I have an annual park pass, so it makes uh, gives me a free place to shower. So I kind of fixed that. But I'm working on the plumbing at the place, too. Um, got the refrigerator in, got the electricity in. Um, I'm still working on some of the wiring issues. Um, you know, that's I still have work to do on that. I got the 12-volt system hardwired in, and it's powering my outside lights and my water pump, which I mounted the other day in the bathroom area of the cabin. And uh, I've been using it to take showers with. Just put it, the spout down in a bucket of hot water, you know, the intake valve on the pump, and yeehaw. But I'm going to purchase a small 110, two and a half gallon hot water heater and do all the plumbing and, and uh, plumb this into some of these, for now, into some of these uh, seven gallon jugs I've been carrying around. So, uh, but you know, I'm working on the rain catchment system. That's coming next. I got to get gutters put up on the, the uh, tiny home, the cabin, and then uh, studio. I got to get the, I got to get some rock laid out there. Um, I need to make the phone call on that probably today or tomorrow, and uh, we'll get the studio placed. And then I have to wire that in. <laughs> so there's a ton of work to be done. But uh, for today, I'm finding the fittings to hard plumb in my hot water, I mean my, uh, my water pump, to my kitchen faucet and my shower area right now. And um, at least lay in the plumbing, plumbing to the, uh, may just lay in the plumbing to the, uh, yeah, I don't know. I gotta do all of it. I'm doing all of it. <laughs> I just can't do it all in one day. I have a parts list as long as your arm and I'm about to head to the, to the, uh, Home Depot type place that we have here and, and uh, uh, pick up some parts and go back to work. But I just been crazy busy, dog training, helping my sister move, working on the homestead and uh, watching the crazy stuff that's going on in our politics right now. So I, I definitely have to send you a Civil War update here within the next uh, 24 hours. I hope to get a Civil War update video out. And uh, also I'm doing research on wireless internet for the place because I have to come into town to upload anything. So it discourages, it discourages you from, uh, from making a video when you, just, when you know you're not gonna be able to upload it till you drive 25 miles into town and then wait for 30 minutes. Because even when I get into town, <laughs> the 4G is still really slow. Oregon was fast. Oregon's 4G was lightning fast. And, uh, but maybe that's what was making me sick. Don't, don't, don't. Here, I'm healthy as can be. I just have to drive into the city to upload a video. But maybe I can get some radio uh, broadband internet installed out here. I know they make it. You know, I just got to find a company that reaches out to where I live. And I may have to put up a tower. But uh, whatever I got to do to get some internet access. Because the little bit of 4G I can get out there is not enough to upload. It literally takes about 12 to 14 hours to upload a video from my house when I decide to do it. And that which puts me 12 to 14 hours behind the news. But um, anyway, lots of fish to fry, lots of things to tackle, and I'm staying at it. And I also wanted to say thank you to all of my viewers who sent me love this week. I got some uh, great, well, Val. <laughs> Val, you always give me the greatest care packages. They're always awesome. So thanks for that awesome care package, Val. And then, um, it looks like I've been given, uh, it looks like a company is giving me a, um, a composting toilet. And all I got to do is do a video on it. So like my first product thing where they're sending me a product and I got to do a video on it. And uh, uh, I guess I'll probably do two videos, uh, an unboxing video of the toilet and install. And then I'll do a, um, I'll do a, 
a video on the the final after I've used it for a while I do a review on it so and but thank you guys to everyone who wrote me everyone who sent me lunch money thank you so much for sending me the, a little bit of money that helped a lot you have no idea if nothing else it helps my frame of mind because I'm scared to death that uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna run out of money before I get back to work and that's that's a little frightening but I'm trying to live so small, my bills, I'm trying to take my bills, make my bills so small that I could probably play music on a street corner and gather enough money to pay the minimum bills and feed myself. That's kind of the plan. <laughs> In case I get to where I can't work. But thank you guys for supporting me through this channel, supporting what I'm doing here, all the videos that I'm making, supporting me by watching liking subscribing and sharing and thank you so much for for contributing either through uh, uh, through my um, patreon account which you can go to uh, patreon uh, and look for sage wanderer on patreon i think it's patreon slash sage wanderer and um, you can become a patron i'm going to start doing more patreons patreon stuff uh, I wrote a little August, uh, beginning of the, I jumped the gun a little bit and did an August newsletter I released yesterday for any of you that are on page, on Patreon, you, that are my patrons, you can come check it out. Become a Patreon, a Patron, Patreon, Patron? I don't know. Sign up! Because <laughs> I'm going to start releasing some exclusive music through my Patreon account as well uh, as some things that I don't feel real comfortable talking about on the, where all the trolls go, but if you're paying to uh, be a patron on my Patreon account. I'll probably be, probably feel more comfortable telling you how I really feel about some of this stuff. Because you have to watch what you say so much on YouTube because everybody's listening. But when you're a patron, a Patreon account, you're talking just to your patrons. So um, we can discuss things that are a little more dicey, a little more, I can be a little more real about what I say. Because you know, let's face it, all of us are having to self-censor. I mean, how long has it been since you've heard AJ's name pronounced out loud? The whole thing, you know? People don't like saying his name because his name will get you deplatformed, get you demonetized, get you shadow banned. So, you know, and now apparently if you say Christian, that's another word. Oops, I said it. They're probably going to demonetize my video. I don't know. But anyway, thank you so much for supporting this channel. I'm getting almost nothing from YouTube because everything's demonetized. And so if uh, you can help out at all, that makes my labor of making videos, um, you know, helps pay me for my time and compensate me for my effort and lets me know that you guys really love and appreciate me. Thank you for sending to my P.O. Box, P.O. Box 2915. That's Post Office Box 2915, Weatherford, Texas, uh, 76086, 76086. 86. So uh, hit me up uh, with a letter, uh, send me some goodies <laughs> if you want, and um, you know if you can't afford to send something, just send a letter. I love getting letters and listening to people, and you know when you oftentimes when people write me, they have uh, hard times they're going through, and I pray for them. You know when I read the letter, I say a prayer for them. So. Um, Feel free to write me whether you can afford to help me out or not, and whether you support the channel financially or not, you can support it with your views. That's the most important thing. Get the word out about what's going on in our country, in our world, and help spread the world word, help spread the world, help spread help spread the word about um, you know about homesteading and prep and prepping and being prepared for what potentially could be coming in the form of a civil war in the United States. And I think we're ever, ever closer. And uh, Civil War update coming soon, as well as um, the uh, Perils of an Interesting Life. I got one of those coming your way. And I'm working on a coffee talk, but there's so much to do. I'm so busy. Thank you for hanging in there with me. When the wintertime comes, we'll be able to really knock it out of the park. All right, thanks.